Hey everyone, it's Jeff. I hope you're doing well. So, uh, recently I've been feeling some feels. Feeling some feels. <laughs> but, uh, in order to talk about that, I think I'm gonna need some hot cocoa, so, one second. Are you waiting for hot cocoa too, buddy? Huh, Aspen? It'll be done soon. Here you go, Aspen. Never mind. Nope, that's not for you. Not for you. Sorry, bud. <laughs> All right, that's better. Here we are. So, I'm reading a book called Daring Greatly. It's by Dr. Brene Brown, who, goodness, she's incredible. If you don't know who she is, look up her research. She has TED Talks, books, anything um, at all, and I think that all of it is just so incredible. It looks like this. It's this book right here. It's about vulnerability and shame and Whew, Dr. Brene Brown really just, she gets to the point and gets me feeling the feels. So I've been thinking a lot about some things, mostly about how we stop ourselves from pursuing things, even though those are things that we want. Like we internalize this thought that we're not good enough. Um, I know for me personally, like there have been a lot of times where I'm like, oh, I'm not attractive enough for that person. Like, clearly they're not gonna like me, so why would I even say anything? Why would I risk, you know, being hurt in that way? Or, mm, I don't, I'm not gonna apply for this job even though I know that I'm qualified because there, there are better applicants. Like, there's someone better out there than me, so why would I even try to do that? For me, I struggle with deciding on whether or not to try because I don't want to be hurt. But uh, here's the thing, um, we continually hurt ourselves when we don't try. Like it's a defense mechanism that we think is going to benefit us when in reality, it's just, it's just telling us and reinforcing us that we're not good enough. In those moments, that's when we're most vulnerable and I'll be real, like vulnerability terrifies me but I think it's something that's scary for everyone. Trying things is how we learn. Trying is how we move from the what if stage to what next. Holy what? Wow, I just thought of that and that's actually really brilliant. And it is okay to be afraid, it's okay to feel that and see that, but that doesn't necessarily have to stop you from doing something. Like, tell the person you're crushing on that you like them. That way, you know, regardless of their answer, you won't be stuck in that really awful, like, loop of what if, that scenario that just keeps playing over and over in your head. Because that's definitely never happened for me ever in my life. That's a lie. That That's happened. It It's fine. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Regardless of what they say, their answer will let you know where they stand, so you can move forward based off of that. And if you want a new job, go for it. Uh, I guess this video is just a reminder that we all struggle with things. Vulnerability is really hard, and trying things and putting ourselves out there, that can be really, really hard. But in the end, I think it's worth it. Try and do one thing, just one uh, thing that you're absolutely terrified, that you've been thinking about for a while and just going back and forth on, that you've been stopping yourself from doing. Try doing that thing. It doesn't have to be super huge. It can be pretty small, whatever. Um, but try doing that. And then to keep ourselves accountable, let's, you know, maybe put them down in the comments. 
Uh, I know that writing something out usually gets me to feel like, ooh, I've said that I'm going to do that thing. So now I'm going to do that thing. So uh, yeah, what are you going to try? Think about it. And as always, you are valid. You are loved. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And I'll see you again on Monday. Bye. Thanks for dragging out my video. You can click anywhere if you don't know where to go. I hope that you enjoyed the show.